Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your headlight lenses on your F30 BMW. So to bring you up to speed, this is my F30 BMW that I bought for 3500 It had a supposed bad engine and a very rough interior. The interior has since been fully restored. So the exterior, on the other hand, is still a work in progress. I did attempt to remove the oxidation and yellowing off these headlights, but as you can see, there comes a point where you'd have to sand off a lot of that material to get it to look perfect again. It's just easier to replace the lens. And I picked up a set of lenses for about $50 delivered to my door off eBay. So if you guys are interested in attempting this yourself, I'll put a link in the description. So the first order of business is gonna to be to remove the front bumper. So it's recommended to remove the front license plate cover because the screws can go deep enough in that they attach to the crash foam. I'm gonna be removing this rubber seal up at the top of the bumper. There's some T30 torques up at the top. In the corner here, you have T20s. Then we'll pull forward out of these metal clips up here. Given the headlights are coming out, I want to get the car jacked up, get the wheels off, take out the wheel liners. We we'll go after all these eight mil bolts. So as you saw, taking out that fender liner made it real easy to access these two bolts. You could have potentially just moved the liner out of the way and shoved a long extension up in there to get access to these two bolts, but we're taking the headlights out anyway, and there's a bunch of screws on the backside, so much easier that way. Since this car has side view cameras, I unplugged that. Looks like I need to order a piece of wheel liner here, but I'm going after any connectors I find. Seems to be the same type of connector you'd find on an E90. So I went after like five or six, eight mils up at the front. So I need to order this piece for the other side. So from the top, there's a screw here and there's a screw here, but I believe you can leave this in place and just go after this screw. All right, taking this T30 up at the top here. There's a 10 mil here. You got a T30 here. So for some reason, those bolts have red Loctite on it. And the only way I got it off was by holding it with a half inch wrench from below, because there's a captive nut in there. Okay, so now there's some T10 screws that screw into the lens. So this DIY won't be for the faint of heart, but I'm gonna be using this oscillating tool to cut as close as possible to the edge here. I'm gonna make sure that I don't cut the actual bracketry inside where the uh, pieces inside screw into this lens. So just going right near the edge as close as possible, getting the lens pried off, then using a heat gun and a screwdriver to get the bits out of the channel. This will be a learning experience for me at the same time, but uh, I'm gonna give it a try. I saw videos showing this as like a newer way to consider doing headlight replacements and people even retain their original lenses by gluing them back on after. So it shouldn't be so bad if we're just trying to replace the lens altogether. In this area, considering it's so close to the black plastic on the inside, I'm just basically creating a score line so I can pull the headlight away and break it away from this area. All right, now let's see if I completely destroyed this headlight. I couldn't have gone any deeper wherever I did it, so I guess I got this right, but you really have to be careful. Never, ever, ever touch this with your fingers because it will rub right off. Don't ever touch the chrome inside your headlights. Even just to rub it off, only blow it off because it's just like never adhered permanently. You could just smudge it right off, it'll look bad. So I'm using my T10. I got close to these black wires, but they're, they survived. Again, don't make contact with the chrome on these pieces. 
you'll really regret it. So I'd really love to get those chrome bezels out of the way so I don't accidentally touch them, but for now, um, I'm just gonna try to get rid of the plastic. So we're still far from the home stretch here, but it's gonna be a lot easier to pry on this plastic. I'm gonna cut away as much of the glue as possible. See, now, now that we can cut it from the inside, it'll make a big difference. Now, if I were to try to pull on that or pry it out, it should move. As you can see, it's already, it's already moving. I don't wanna mar this up. If I can do a clean job, let's try. I'll we'll probably have to break out the heat gun, but just testing right now to see what would happen if I were to clamp onto this and try to remove the light. All right, that's what I was looking for. Get a starting point. I could probably use some, I could probably use a heat gun to make this a little easier, but let's see how easy it is just as is. So now that I have this out, I should be able to pull. I'm gonna bring over the heat gun. Probably come as no surprise, but the heat really made it much easier. All right, as you can see, we have a nice even channel all the way around to put in our new glue. Make sure there's not going to be anything I won't want in there when I reassemble. I popped the back cover off so I could blow all the dust out. It took me about 10 minutes of constantly shaking it because some dust would have got behind the projector lens and whatnot. So I shook it up and blew it out multiple times, put it upside down and shook it so that the dust can fall out and it got to the point where nothing was coming out anymore. But you'll definitely need an air compressor. So I took the new lens and I screwed that piece back into it. You had your multiple screw points, four screws all around there to get this inserted, it fit perfectly. So you're gonna wanna blow that out, make sure there's no little dust particles that are gonna be visible once you put everything back together because that will definitely annoy you. In terms of resealing the light, I'm gonna be using this resealing glue, as you can see. I find it easier to put it on the lens than it would be into the channel of the headlight. So that's one of the reasons why I like the glue to be not uh, melted yet and on the lens so we can double check everything before we commit and slowly bring it into place and then you can use a heat gun to finally get it to bond. But either way, it's pretty easy to work with. All right, there you have it. I would say that it looks as good as new. I was able to get the screws to fully bottom out and we could of course rely on that sealant to fill in any voids. So I'll toss that back on the car now. All right, here we are, all back together. I think it's safe to say that that looks as good as new. It looks like I put new headlights in there. Here's the other side, it's 100% perfect. So this restoration project's really coming along, but now that bumper is looking like a big eyesore, 
but we have an M Sport conversion coming from Keys Motorsports. Uh, I partnered up with them. So expect uh, a video on that coming up pretty soon. I'll put a link in the description for their channel as well as their website. They have all things F30 if you guys are looking to modify your car. If you guys are interested in these lenses, I'll put a link in the description as well. You can get them for about $50 to your door. And then there's the glue that I used. I think that's about $15 or $20. For about $60 or $70, you can completely restore your headlights on an F30 or even other BMWs. But specifically on the F30, the Xenon and the Halogen share the same lens, which really helps with the cost. And the LED ones will be different. All right, guys, that'll conclude this video, showing you how to replace your headlight lenses on an F30 BMW. If this is the first video you're catching on mine, please consider subscribing. If you liked the video, please give it a like. It'll help me rank higher. Thanks for watching.